G'day Anthony, hope you're doing well. Great question. So is acquiring businesses also a form of acquiring commercial property at the same time? Or are you solely buying the business? Now, in my particular circumstance, I'm buying service businesses. So there's no real need for them to operate from a premises. In fact, uh, one of the strategies that we use in order to maximize our competitive advantage is that if we acquire a business that does have a commercial premises, we actually get rid of it. Uh, because all of our businesses run online, uh, most of our team members work from home, we've got two offices, we're currently consolidating down into one office uh, in Sydney and then another office in Brisbane. Um, and it's a, it's, it's a, a, um, a shared building, right? It's, um, I don't know what you call it. Uh, in any case, uh, it's, the costs in terms of uh, our lease is extremely small. Now, there are certain businesses that are either manufacturing businesses or product businesses or bricks and mortar businesses where it does make sense to acquire the commercial property. And it's not necessarily for the investment return because in fact, uh, putting commercial property into the deal makes the capital requirement substantially higher than buying the business without it. But it's usually because either the owner of the business has the premises and it gives you more security and control if you own the premises, uh, or the premises is uh, a, a fundamental requirement of the business operations and therefore you want more safety and security around that tenancy into the future. In saying that, you can solve that with long-term leases and options agreements um, and there's other creative ways around it. In the vast majority of transactions that I see, we try and keep commercial property out of the transaction, just mainly because of the working capital requirements of that. Um, and because when you think about it, most businesses are, are valued at a multiple of EBITDA. And let's say a business is being purchased at three times EBITDA. Property normally trades at 25 times its earnings. So it's a substantially higher multiple. Um, so basically you're paying a substantial premium compared to businesses. And from my perspective, I would prefer to use that working capital to buy more businesses uh, and uh, buy property independently of the business operations because I'm not a big fan of commercial because when I'm buying property, I'm doing it for capital growth because I want unrealized capital gains I can roll over. Not to say that it's not a great strategy for some people, just not something that I do. Great question, mate. Hope this is helpful.